Good morning, Mountain. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about Gilded. Now, if you know me at all, you know I've been shilling this platform a lot during the past year or so. If you've never heard of Gilded, it's basically just another chatting platform of the likes of Slack or Discord because it has such a big monopoly on it. While Gilded doesn't directly compete with Discord, it had a lot of features that basically made it a Discord killer in terms of like what you can do. Yeah, it's just a chat that I've moved my whole community onto, and so have many others. It's It's been a great alternative. Well, it used to be. Last week, on May 31st, on a Friday, which is horrible timing, you can see that we have this message. Basically, all Gilded accounts on this site will be requiring Roblox authentication. That means exactly what it means. It means you have to authenticate yourself using a Roblox account. You can't use your email login as you've always been using. You can't use, you know, the most basic two-factor authentication, which is your username and password. You have to log in with the almighty Roblox. Now, it hasn't been a secret that Gilded was owned by Roblox, and I actually... It was kind of recent compared to when I first got on this platform, which was around 2021-ish. When I was testing everything out, it was around then that they had acquired it. But yeah, it's been no secret. When I was trying to get people onto Gilded, that was something that was actually a turnoff for a lot of people. But in any case, this is the most disappointing news of all for us here at Gilded. As you can see, until July 15, we can still use the accounts normally. But right now, if you try to make an account, you will require a Roblox account. That means if someone finds one of my videos and I've linked it in the description, they will be greeted to a Roblox page. So first to explain why this is all heartbreaking, I just want to kind of show off what made Gilded so great, why we moved here, why I went completely cold turkey. As we go down and go through my categories, you can see we have all sorts of text channels. We have not only the regular text channels, we have these announcement channels that are kind of blog posty. Yeah, we have streaming channels, which are basically just voice channels and streams in one. But basically, Discord took this feature. If you've seen uh, Discord voice channels, it's pretty much the same thing. And I think it was more uh, controversial than how Gilded does it. You have forums. Forums, my beloved. Everyone loves forums. Forums are a keystone of the internet. We love long-form discussion, so we have that type of channel. We have media channels where you can just post media like it's, I don't know, Instagram. I don't know what people use for that sort of thing. Not only that, we have calendars. There's even a scheduling channel, but I barely use that stuff. See, you got all sorts of stuff. You have document channels here, so you can also just put posts like that. To-do lists. So as you can see, Gilded has a lot of channel types and again, forums are my beloved. I love forums. Like that's probably like one of the big reasons I wanted Gilded. Imagine like every single one of these channels just being text channels. That's what I didn't like about Discord. It's just that everything felt super bloated. With this in mind, like you can just organize everything as however you want. And not only that, so you might be looking at these and you might be thinking these are all servers. Well, no, this is all Mountain of Fati. But what you can do here is you have sub servers for lack of a better comparison. So you can see I have all sorts of groups here ready to be used and they all have their own voice channels. And the thing is that you can leave specific sub servers People can just pick the ones they want to be in, sort of like a subscription in a way. So you can organize your server and divide them according to themes and maybe games. And there's other sick things too, by the way. You can use any emoji from any server and there's no limit to the amount you can have on a server. You can have a profile of a username, banner, and you can have even posts on your page there and connect a bunch of things. Another thing that I think kills Discord is the idea of a public channel. So you can make any channel public and the person won't need an invite. When that is enabled, you are not obligated to make an account to view these channels. You can just lurk in them even without logging in, without being a part of the server. You can look around, 
say I was a person who wanted to get my Soku mod and I didn't want to be a part of Gilded. I could just go ahead and download this file anyway. And that's what I hate about Discord is the fact that it locks people in. It forces everyone to be centralized. Everyone wants their damn Discord server for every little thing. At least this way we can have the best of both worlds. And that's perfect on top of forums. You can now have public forums in case you decide to put your files somewhere. That is like being back in the World Wide Web. And it's the same thing as you can see here. You can put a link to either a channel or a message. For example, if I just copy message link and just paste it, you get the embed right there. So it's not like the Discord links where it'll make you open the server and then you're not even able to view the message unless you're in the server. So with all of this customization and all of this beautiful stuff, what is there not to love about this site? In almost every single way, it is just superior to Discord. But because of that, maybe we didn't consider the fact that it might be unsustainable, especially if it got way more popular. And that's always a thing. It hasn't, Gilded hasn't pushed itself out there too much. At first, we were joking a lot. We were joking a lot that Roblox would ruin the platform or just make something weird happen and well it turns out it to be true um it was kind of a punch to the gut really but why is it such a bad thing you might ask why not just make a roblox account and just claim it like that to answer that let's just think about it like this why should people have to sign up to roblox to use gilded gilded isn't a very big website to begin with as you can see, this main server here has only 62,000 members. Obviously, this number doesn't even represent the actual user base size because a lot of these are just kind of throwaways. There's a lot of these accounts that, you know, people just made an account to test out Gilda and maybe they thought it wasn't for them or they couldn't get their friends on. So it's a lot of empty accounts. And sure, there's probably stragglers that are not in this server. I don't think most of my friends are in this server at all or even knew it existed but that is basically roughly how big you can imagine gilded to be at most when you think of roblox what do you think of to me and i think i could say this for everyone else in my server when you think of roblox you kind of just think of a silly kids game like a worse g mod almost or maybe it's better i have no clue i feel like it's something that's a bit too try hard like People, when I see kids talk about this game, they call every single, you know, content created in this game, like, its own game. Like, they don't call it, like, a mod, a map, something like that. I've always seen everyone call it a game. And I think that sort of mindset is not something that most people are falling for when they see Roblox. Roblox, through and through, has that reputation of being for kids, just being a kid's game. Sure, you have people of all ages playing it on the virtue of being family friendly, but for a lot of my friends and myself, you could not catch us playing that game ever unless it was ironic. Again, when I was trying to move people onto my server, Roblox was already something that was off-putting. People have already been making, you know, comments about Roblox. So now if I try to get people to join in, again, I'm going to be like, well, you have to make a Roblox account to get in. And the majority of people, at least, you know, the type of people I'm going to be talking with are going to be like, what the hell? No, they're not going to play Roblox. We're not going to play Roblox anyway. But to make someone sign up for Roblox to use a chatting service is not a good look. So if we go into the official server and look at all this, this is a channel for feedback on, you know, what's been going on. And there's a lot of complaining, there's a lot of people who are upset, and there's a lot of people who are leaving. Like, you even have this long post here. There's even sites already set up for gilded uh, data deletion and stuff. And, yeah, it's sad. So, just on that note, people aren't liking this. They don't like Roblox. It's not a company that has good practices. They kind of pull stunts from time to time. They have uh, horrible moderation from what people are saying, so... There's a general lack of trust with Roblox and how they handle accounts. So, for example, like, if you just had your Roblox account deleted, like, deleted or banned or something, then that would affect your Gilded account. That goes to show that, once again, I'm mentioning how, you know, this main Gilded server has only 62,000 members. That's not a lot of members in comparison. 
Now you're going to slash your already small user base even more. And on top of that, there's already big names, as I mentioned, that are going to leave and they've pulled out like their bots. Like one, like there's quite a few people who are in the API server, for example, and um, they pulled out like basically the most popular bots on the platform and they're done with the API. And there's people who have worked on something called Regilded, which is the only client mod, and they stopped working on that too. It's all done and over with. So yeah, you're stuck with a lot less than what you started with, and less people are going to be interested. Now, a thing that's kind of regretful about this is that I feel like someone could have the mentality of told you so when it comes to Roblox and Gilded. Now, I don't know much else about the Roblox company. I just know of their horrible conditions when it comes to using kids as labor. But as a company, I don't know how far they would go to ruin things. We can go off the example of Google buying off many products and then killing them. There's a whole website dedicated to this. But when it comes to Gilded, there might have been signs that I've only really noticed in retrospect compared to what we have now. Updates in general were kind of slow when it comes to Gilded. There were a lot of good updates such as mobile functionality because for the longest time mobile was kind of laggy and left a lot to be desired but now it's relatively well it's actually really snappy i can't complain and unlike discord gilded voice chats don't overheat your phone to death but we have some updates like this one here back four months ago they were adding some strange features that I think we wouldn't care about as normal users, such as these Roblox PFPs here. If I just go to this random user, you can see that, yeah, they have the whole avatar and everything. And that is the main thing you can see when you click on their profile. So back when this released, I kind of didn't care because, well, it's Roblox. I don't care for it. But it is kind of a big change now that I think about it. And it's just something I thought, well, it's optional, you know, the Roblox influence is there, but we don't really care that much, right? Well, no other major updates. These are things that have been there for a while now, way before. But there was also this weird update that everyone in the Illuminati got pinged for, which is a marketplace. A thing for Roblox. Non-NFT NFTs. Another thing about that is that we haven't gotten a proper change log since then. The last one was from fall. This user that I scrolled past by made a good point also that they used to be more active on social media. Now I know another YouTuber who's actually high profile was covering the Gilda situation, so he probably has a better grasp on the Twitter side of things as from what I saw in his video. But you can see here that April was the last real message they have here on their Twitter account. And I can't really see chronologically because I don't have a Twitter account. But yeah, you can see this post was not made on the official server. They were just kind of leaving it here. And you can see it's just two Roblox announcements and that's it. Gilded was known for trying to pull a team speak with their social media PR and kept trying to, you know, make quips at Discord and try to flaunt the fact that they had so much of this cool free stuff but they haven't really been doing that since. Silently, there was an update to the font on the website. The font did not look like this. And for reference, this was around April, maybe a little bit earlier, so something like that. I think it was like the first few weeks of April, if not a little bit earlier. We were kind of mixed on it. Like now we're kind of used to it, but we were kind of mixed on how it looked at first. But I was working on a chat exporter for Gilded, right? So I tried to copy the font, trying to make everything look the same, which for fun I'll show off looks like this. But in any case, you can see that the font family they use is called Builder Sans. And I was kind of curious, so just looked it up real quickly. And it's a Roblox font. See, it is part of the Roblox website and app. And now Gilded is mirroring that. It looks like really the end goal for Roblox is to turn Gilded into a Roblox chatting platform. And that's something that people are also upset about that apparently Gilded's not going to be able to keep its word because it's going to become a part of Roblox and not just its own separate thing forever. But yeah, that's what it seems like everyone is complaining about too, is that the fact that it looks like they're sidelining regular users for the sake of Roblox users. You can see here in this fact that they have this question about supporting communities that are not focused on Roblox, but they kind of give a sidelined answer as well. 
It's just, we're going to continue serving everyone of all stripes. Well, but how would people feel back then if you had to use a Mojang or Minecraft, whatever, back then? What if you had to use that account from a game to use a chatting software? It's a little weird. Now, in the servers, there's a lot of shills for Roblox. I assume it's just, you know, some teenagers that don't have the big picture. So, of course, some people are seeing this as a good thing. They think that now Roblox is going to put, you know, all of their money into it and make it a better platform. But again, what's the point if you're killing off your user base? The only positive benefit I see for this is the idea that Roblox is going to start funneling way more funds into Gilded and, you know, ramp it up. But I don't understand why it has to be like this. Everyone's seen how successful and how much money Discord is making. People are saying that Discord, despite all the Nitro, is working at a net deficit. I don't know where they're getting that from. Gil Discord is still clearly on top. And Gilded was doing that for a while. This was, I think, before they got taken over by Roblox. They were taking, like, a sort of subscription system. And I think it was just, you know, to show your love for it. And I feel like a lot of people... At least I've seen badges of a lot of Gilded users who had that sort of thing. But again, I would personally pay for a subscription to Gilded because it's just that good to me. It's been so good to me and my friends, and it's been so useful that I wouldn't mind shelling out like 10 bucks a month or like even a little more because like I'm, I found a lot of worth in it personally. It's, it's like whatever now. The whole idea that apparently people like this change would be crazy to me because that just means they want more people to play Roblox with and not just, you know, deal with all sorts of communities and try to be a respectable, seriously taken platform. People are going to always know it for what it was. Just Roblox oof noises, just weird looking games that no matter how hard you try to, you know, dress it up and put makeup on it, it's still going to be a Roblox game. Because of this reputation that Roblox has, I can't see the user base being the same or being good. And to be frank, even right now, the Gilded user base is kind of weird. You're either going to have these hyperactive weebs, maybe some of these other eternally online people. There's the, you know, there's a few sprinkles of like normal guys here and there, but there's a lot of, you know, JavaScript developer crowds and stuff like that. If not, you know, the Roblox crowd that we've been talking about. But that's just how it is on public servers anyway, because as you can see, I'm not even in many servers to begin with in all my time on Gilded. And that's because most of them aren't really active. Like, again, Gilded already has a small user base, and there's a lot of dead servers, unfortunately. As it is on this platform already, I tell my friends to turn off, like, messages from strangers and, you know, just not deal with anyone else. Because, again, yes, there is a lot of Roblox users by association a lot of kids and teenagers who play roblox and the way i see it is that if they start catering to all these roblox kids if this is what your demographic is gonna be if this is the audience that you want out of your platform you are gonna have the same reputation that discord has if not worse actually because at least on discord you can avoid them and what am i talking about with discord why well, I don't want to say it out loud because I don't want to get this video flagged or anything. Let's just say there's a lot more creeps if you know that this platform is going to have a lot of younger people, impressionable people, and, well, Roblox-oriented people. Because you already know some of the horror stories that Roblox has. Or maybe you don't. Thank God if you don't. In any case, that's another reason why a lot of people are leaving and why I'm going to be leaving too. Because just... I don't want to be on a platform that's like, you know, known for being Roblox and just full of like younger people. I want this to be a platform that I can find all sorts of things on. And while yes, those types of servers will exist anyway, for some of the people who just couldn't care less about Roblox, that number is going to be really, really low. It's already hard bringing in people as it is. I mean, take a look at mine. It's at 57 members and only maybe 15 of us are actively logging in or something like that maybe 20 something like that but yeah there are people planning on moving away to different platforms revolt chat is the biggest one it's probably the most well-known one some people are going to move back to discord while the majority of these 
are not really good options. Discord might as well be the good mainstream option. Because even if we go onto something like Revolt Chat or really half of these, they're running on people who are doing this stuff for free. Kind of, you know, small name. We have no clue on the longevity and, you know, future support and security of those platforms. And I mention that because even this server I'm trying to rally up is only at 36 members. And for that chat exporter I was talking about, I seem to be the only direct person who's interested in such a thing. That's just me. That's just because I love to archive things. Maybe the majority of people don't really care for that sort of thing. But that just goes to show that if people aren't already here, like maybe these people are just still arguing about it, hoping that there's a chance, they've already bounced. A lot of these big servers have been publicly stated to be removed and so on and so forth. So when this news dropped at first, you can see immediately, you know, people were upset at this. First message is I'm going to log off for good. And a lot of these people have been, you know, making offshoots on Discord. Some of them are even going as far as to say that they're starting their own platform called Campground, which currently I'm just not interested because of the, the idea of making a new platform just like that. They At least they have these channels here from, you know, the main Gilded team to voice complaints. And at first I was thinking this is a really good thing. It's important. This accounts connection feedback. This, I believe, was in this support channel or in the community channel. It wasn't here. It was out of the way. But now they moved it all the way up on both servers. So that gave me the impression that the staff members are listening. And they say they do. But at the same time, I don't know if it really matters. The thing is, I think staff are like trying to just come to terms with it already. Because a lot of the messages were just them kind of asking, like, you know, what makes it hard for you to go on Roblox? What don't you like? This sort of thing. Now, of course, they could be leading you on to explain, you know, why it's all such a bad idea. But the thing is, is that even if this gets overturned, People are either already given up and leaving, or there's just going to be a whole lack of trust going forwards. Who's to say that something like this won't happen again, or that the platform is, even if it's operating independently, is it going to be filled chock full with Roblox related utilities? It's like, it's going to be hard going forward. Like this is kind of already a point of no return. I believe there's been already several thousand messages since that whole week. Most strongly during the weekend, which again is the reason why I think that the news being posted on a Friday was horrible. But again, as time goes on and now we're already a week past when the news came. Aside from those cues that I've mentioned, there was no indication that any of this was going to happen. There was no surprise message. You know, this Illuminati server did not get some like, you know, heads up warning. I think maybe partners did receive... A few hours notice, but again, a few hours is nothing compared to, you know, potentially days or weeks of a heads up notice. We have no clue if this is something that's even reversible. I have a feeling like because of all this time that's passed and honestly with all the passive statements of the staff and not like the, the problem with the staff is like, I'm hoping it's just Roblox forcing them their hand, but they haven't precisely said anything themselves also about disagreeing with everything we have mods of these servers which aren't the same as the staff but all the mods are in contempt of this everyone else all of the staff members just they haven't said much about their own opinions if anything i feel like they're more just welcoming to the idea of you know roblox taking over so things are not looking good and i have kind of lost hope myself and frankly it looks like we're gonna just move so, so far it's looking like Discord will be the place. It's just the most stable one. At least it's a big company, so it's probably not going anywhere. But I do want to look at some of the free and open source alternatives. Yes, there is Revolt, but I've been taking a look at Nerimity, which looks really comfy to be honest and has some nice screen sharing options, but I really don't know if that thing is going to stay. I still think it's sad that I have to decide on any of this when I was such a big Gilded shill. In fact, I even have some Gilded merch, like a handbag, but I don't think I'm going to be wearing that anytime soon. But yeah, going into a deep dive of Gilded was a really big thing, and it was awesome, and 
And it's not going to be the same again, because it turns out that all of us are feeling the dread of going back to Discord, even those who are, you know, still using it actively now. We really took all the good stuff about Gilded for granted, and it's going to be hard readjusting to all the problems and all the limitations that something like Discord has. But it's not like something like Matrix or Telegram or whatever else are much better options. But it is what it is. It is how it is. It do be how it is. If Roblox overturns the decision, and I still hope it does, like I really do. Even if it happens though, I'm going to start having a careful eye out from now on. But that is why I partially left Discord, is the idea that everyone's putting all their eggs in one basket. You should always have a backup plan for your chats. You should always make archives and stuff if they're important to you. You should always be careful for the worst because you never know when things get ruined by a big company that just wants to maximize profits and the happiness of their shareholders. Hopefully this whole thing becomes an example for other people to use and maybe a cautionary tale, but this whole video is probably going to be a drop in the massive ocean that we call the internet and something that's going to be forgotten soon enough. We'll get over it. We'll keep on keeping on. Anyway, we don't have that much free time anymore to stress about something like this. If you made it up to this point, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.